this is one of the best budget keyboards I've ever found. All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am back with a budget keyboard from Taobao, of course. I know not everybody can purchase one of these keyboards, but because of Eerie Studio being set up and everything, I might be able to bring in some of these budget keyboards that I've been reviewing into the US. If there's enough people interested in it, I can do that. So we'll see after this review. Let me introduce to you the Leobo Kai 75. It is currently priced at 35 US dollars, a keyboard kit at 35 US dollars. It's made by a company called Leobo and they have a bunch of releases, but I believe the Hi 75 is one of their latest releases. It has some sort of an astronaut or space theme to the whole keyboard, which is a very nice thing to see in a budget keyboard. Okay, so let's take it slow, starting with what's included. Aside from our keyboard, we have this really nice braided cord USB-C cable a manual and some stickers. It is extremely simple. I didn't expect much to be included in a 30, 30, what? 30 something dollar keyboard kit. Now time for the keyboard. Let's run through the base specs for it. It is made out of aluminum, actual metal, not plastic. They have it in a bunch of colors, but I end up choosing black because it is also the cheaper version. So it is an aluminum keyboard with a 75% layout, stabilizers included on the polycarbonate plate, featuring a knob, which, which is actually pretty special knob. I'll, I'll show you guys why later on. It's a really cute astronaut astronaut badge on the top left and at the back we have an engraving of the astronaut as well. All these for $37 or $35, I forgot the price. I was pretty skeptical at first when I saw the product listing and it was so cheap and aluminum keyboard kit, I was like, there's no way this is like actually good, right? But based on the features that I just mentioned, it should be pretty good. So let's first take a look at the stabilizers. The stabilizers that are included are actually plate mounted stabilizers and they are factory looped. I touched it up a little bit because it's actually quite heavily factory looped, but I just basically touched it up a little bit and reinstalled them. The next thing I try to do is actually try to open it up because you know, it's a custom keyboard. I normally like to open up the custom keyboards. And usually for boards with knobs, you would remove the knob before for removing the top frame. But I tried every single method I know to remove a knob and it cannot be removed. So as I mentioned earlier, the knob is actually really different from what we are used to. This knob is actually made of two different, I would say compartments. The button itself and the scroll wheel on the knob is actually two different compartments. Due to that, it's not your usual knob where you can just pull it out or just unscrew it and pull it out. It, it's just a whole different thing because this wheel itself is different. Like, listen to the wheel. It's so satisfying. Anyway, I basically ignored the knob and removed the six screws on the top holding the keyboard down. And of course, the ribbon cable attached to the daughter board. All right, so now that we have it open, we can see how it's mounted. As for the mounting style, we actually have a gasket mounted keyboard. Nothing too surprising. Gasket mounts are getting really, really popular, really mainstream on budget keyboards. Since I can't remove my knob, I basically cannot open my PCB sandwich. But I'll try to go through what I can see and basically dig through to see what I can show you guys. From the bottom, we can see a PCB foam attached underneath with some some sort of a plastic film at the back. The PCB is a 5-pin hot swappable south facing PCB. Literally perfect PCB on a budget keyboard. My version doesn't have the RGB because I didn't really want the RGB. As for the rest of the foam, we have the standard plate and PE foam. So since we basically can't really configure the foam, let's just start building in it. Starting with our switches. Since I was on Leo Books like store on Taobao, I basically looked through to see if they have any switches and they actually do. These are the Greywood V4 switches. It's a 5-pin linear switch featuring a palm stem and bottoms out at 50 grams. 90 pieces for $20. 90 pieces for $20. That's pretty insane. The switches installed are not looped in any way. They are straight out of that box that they came in. I just want, I really wanted to hear how they sounded in stock. I believe they shouldn't sound too bad. As for my keycaps, I randomly grabbed a random set of keycaps that I could find. Uh, Double Shop PBT, it was 30 bucks and it sort of matches the black vibe, the black frame, the black base that I have. So, you know. So in general, the building experience is actually really simple. The keyboard kit itself definitely wasn't designed to be open up. It's probably more catered towards beginners who are starting off and basically want to build the moment to get their kit or or maybe for like a for fun hobby kind of kit but with that being said the keyboard itself is done please take a listen
So tell me this isn't the best budget keyboard I have reviewed. It's the one of the best. In total, I think the keyboard cost me less than $80 or $100. I'm not too sure. After shipping in Texas, so it should be about $100. But that's still insane. I am heavily considering bringing this in bulk all the way to the US so that you guys can have access to what keyboards are available on Taobao. With that being said, I will not be able to sell at the price that I bought it for because I would have to cover the shipping and the taxes from buying it from Leo Bulk, and then I would have to pay shipping which is really expensive from China to the US but yeah if you guys are interested there will be a price increase if you guys are interested in the kit itself uh, please do let me know in the comments down below for my Aerie Studio people my Discord is currently my Discord account currently is having some issues I'm trying to contact with my Discord from the Discord contact support I, I don't know why I can't log in but if you guys still need help uh, you need the updates please uh, email the Aries contact support but yes this has been the Leo Book 75 uh, absolutely crazy keyboard like this video if you think the keyboard sounds good subscribe if you have enjoyed keyboard content and if you are from the US and you're interested in getting something like this for a little bit of a higher price I wouldn't say it's gonna be extremely pricey but yes if you guys are interested in this do let me know in the comments down below I'll try to cater to the US people while I review Taobao keyboards yep I'll see you guys soon. Bye.